Hello folks, it's Neil, and this is a quick video on logging into WildX Collaboration. Uh, when we set you up on the WildX system, we will send you an email like this one saying, welcome to our PBX. And in the email, it'll have where the phone system is. In this case, it's geekcollective.wildixin.com. That's our demo system. Uh, your username and your password and your extension number. Typically, they're the same. So once you've got these credentials, that's all you need to be able to get onto the system. So I'm going to take, copy that link, get rid of that email. I'm going to go back to my web browser, preferably Chrome or Edge, and then it comes up with the login screen. Welcome to Wild AX Collaboration. If you want to, you can put in the username and password that you were given on the email so mine will be 200 and whatever the password is there but if you use google mail or you use microsoft 365 you could use these buttons down here now i use google mail so i'm going to click on my google button and then click on my google mail there and that will log me into collaboration and from here i can make and receive calls I can chat, I can look people up in my phone book. I'll show you those in, in further videos, but that's basically how you log into collaboration. Nice and simple. Once you've logged in for the first time, it will ask you things like, can I use your microphone? Can I use um, your camera if you've got a camera, that kind of stuff. Just say yes to all those because then they come in handy for when you want to make and receive calls later and do video conferencing if that's something you want to do. It will also ask you if you want to install the Wild AX integration service, which is a little program which ties Wild AX to websites so you can do things like click to dial uh, and stuff like that. So yeah, install that one as well on your computer and then you're good to go. That's it. That's how to log into collaboration. Thanks for watching.